Hello, and welcome to Chips and Salsa, where we talk security and intel. I'm Jerry. I'm Crobe. Hey, Crobe, you know what day it is? Heck yeah, I do. It's Patrick Tuesday. Yes, it's Patch Tuesday yet again, and today we are releasing the 2024.2 Intel Platform Security Update and a host of other security updates. For those who don't know, the Intel Platform Update is Intel's industry-leading process for releasing firmware updates and microcode updates through our ecosystem partners to the end customer. This month, we have uh, 40 security advisories addressing 92 vulnerabilities with CVSS scores ranging from 2.8, which is low, to 10 critical. Right, and it was another great month for Intel product security assurance programs. We're pleased to report that this month, you see the big number there, 99% of all the vulnerabilities we're disclosing were found through Intel's proactive security and assurance programs. And these are things like our P13 bug bounty programs and all the amazing security researchers that we have on staff. So let's uh, dive into the specifics for May advisories. Uh, the IPU and security advisories released today all cover firmware, software, and one advisory in our data center GPU Max series that requires software developers to review updated guidance from Intel to mitigate that issue. Um, as normal, Intel recommends that customers review the advisories and associated data and apply relevant updates that all should be available today uh, from Intel and our ecosystem partners. That's right. Keep patching. Um, diving into these advisories, we're going to highlight just a few that customers should take note of. First off is the firmware category. Customers using Intel server products, such as server uh, D50, DMP, M50, FCP, or server board S2, 600 BP products, should review Intel TA01080 for UEFI updates. Intel TDX customers should ensure that they update the latest versions to address a few issues that were found during a joint security review with uh, an Intel partner. And keep an eye out for an upcoming Chips and Salsa episode covering that exact topic. And also, users of the Intel Ethernet Controller's i225 product should review Intel SA00756 as it addresses nine internally found security vulnerabilities. Yeah. Uh, in the software plus firmware category, customers using Intel ProSet Wi-Fi and Bluetooth components should review Intel SA01039 for important updates. And 30 of the 40 advisories we're releasing today address issues in software. And we want to highlight just a few of these of the higher severity scores. That's right, Crow. Customers using the following Intel software should update to the latest versions to address these issues which were all reported through the Intel Bug Bounty Program, uh, Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer Software, Intel Dynamic Tuning Technology Software, Intel Power Gadget Software, uh, Intel Arc and Iris XE Graphics Software, and finally, Intel Neural Processor Compressor Software, which is where you will find the only critical vulnerability in our updates this month. Um, that issue could allow an authenticated uh, user to potentially escalate privilege remotely. Well, Jerry, as we wind down for this month, we're going to share a short list of system manufacturing partners who also will have additional advisories releasing in May. Please follow the link for a full list of the support sites. And with that, Patchin' Hat says, happy patching. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>